The amount of questions I get about this stuff is crazy. People are going to be curious about where you got it and whether you wanna gatekeep, it's up to you. Wearing jewelry does not have to be expensive. I'm gonna show you how you can create a whole collection for under $15. What's up guys, Parker here, welcome back. If you're new, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle without breaking the bank. You don't have to spend a ton to look and feel good. If you've been following me, you know that I absolutely love jewelry. It's an easy way to separate yourself from everybody else, to add a little style to your most casual outfits. The versatility is crazy. I always wear this ball chain necklace. You guys have asked about it a lot, so I figured I'd make a video, show you how you can be making your own. Uh, for less than 15 bucks. So here's what you'll need. A spool of ball chain, it's about $15. It's also gonna come with fasteners. You could do gold, you could do silver, you could do rose gold, you could do gunmetal. The world is your oyster. Then you're also gonna need ideally some wire cutters, but scissors work as well. They just might get a little bit dull because you are cutting through metal. Obviously based on the fact that I barely ever even take this off, I think we should talk about the necklace first. Most brands are gonna sell necklaces at pre-cut lengths, 18 inch, 20 inch, 22, 24, which is great. However, the reason I love this is because you don't even need to worry about what works best for you. All you're gonna do is take your spool of chain, wrap it around your neck, figure out what length works best for you, where you like it to land. I want it to hit me like right there. So I grab this end. You take your wire cutters and I cut right there. Boom. Then as I said, it's gonna come with this little dime baggie of fasteners. Grab one of those. Hopefully you know how this works. Just stick one ball into one side. They can be a little tight at first. Click it into place. Depending on how long the necklace is, you might have to clasp it on, or if you make it pretty long, you can just put it over your head. Boom, necklace. That easy. Whether you wanna add a charm is totally up to you. I don't think you necessarily need one. The one that I'm wearing is from Etsy. It has a J on it for Jacqueline, which is my wife's name. Just showing her a little love. But again, what's so great about this is you don't have to be worried about length, like unsure of whether a 20 inch or an 18 inch is gonna fit you better. You can literally make exactly what you want or make five. You have like 20 or 30 feet of spool here, so make multiple, you could wear multiple at the same time. Get creative, make a whole little necklace story for yourself. Mix the metals, mix the lengths, do whatever makes you feel good. Common question I get is, will the metal turn your skin green? Cause it is a little cheaper. I've had this one for years. I've worn it in the pool, in the ocean, in the shower, working out everywhere. It still holds a really nice gold color. These are pretty bright fresh off the spool, as you can tell. I actually like how it kind of dulls it. It looks a little bit more natural. The charm has gotten tarnished over time, turned almost a little bit silver. Doesn't really bother me, but you don't really need to worry about that with this ball chain, which is great. Another great thing about this is if you lose it, like you go to the beach or wherever and it falls off, which it won't, but say you put it down and you forget to put it back on. Whoops. It, it's fine, just make another one. It takes two minutes as you saw and you're good. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna start wearing this more. The only limits with this are your creativity. You can do whatever you want. Wrap it 10 times around, have some big thick Mr. T looking thing. <gasps> whatever you're into. That's necklaces. Another piece I like to make are bracelets. Same story. You just take it, wrap it around. You could do a really thin one if you wanna just do one. You could wrap it a few times. If you wanna make something a little bit thicker, I'm gonna make one really thick. So I'm gonna grab it right there at the very end of where it was connecting to the of where it was connecting to the front of the chain. Add on our fastener, wrap it around a bunch of times, clip it in, loosen it up just a little, and boom. I've got a stylish bracelet that's just gonna get better looking the more I wear it. It's a perfect way to add a little bit of color and style to your outfit. If you like gold, go gold. If you like silver, go silver. Get both. The spool's only $15. I linked it in the description. So grab yourself whatever color you like. Finally, just for the sake of showing you, this one's a little bit of a stretch, but I will sometimes wrap a bunch of them around. You can create a ring as well. It's kind of fun. It's just a little bit different, but you know, I know that one's not necessarily gonna be for everyone, but 
that is your style, if you are liking rings, or especially if you want to try rings, or any jewelry actually, that's a good idea. This is a perfect starter way to see what you're into, what types of jewelry you're interested in buying more of, as opposed to going and spending 20, 50, 100, 1,000 dollars on a piece of jewelry that you're not even sure you like. Try this, figure it out. You're gonna save yourself a lot of money. As I said before, guys, I linked in the description all of the pieces that I'm using, the tools, the different chain, the charm. You can go check that out as well. If you make yourself a ball chain with these tips, post it, tag me, send me a picture on Instagram. Always love seeing that. Hope this was helpful for you. I love jewelry. I know you will too, or you might if you start wearing it. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel. I'll see you on the next one. I think I need to go buy myself some other metal colors now. <laughs>